Today we're going to practice multiplying mixed numbers. In order to multiply a mixed number, we have to change them to improper fractions. In order to change a mixed number to an improper fraction, we need to know that we multiply the denominator times the whole number and add the numerator. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 1 is 26. The denominator stays the same. And again, we repeat it with our second mixed number. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And again, the denominator stays the same at 2. Then we multiply like normal. 26 times 5 is 130. 5 times 2 is 10. We can divide both the top and the bottom by 10. We get 13 over 1, which is the same as 13. Now, if you've practiced cross-simplifying, we could do 26 over 5 times 5 over 2, and then simplify across. 5 and 5 can both be divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 26 and 2 can both be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 26 divided by 2 is 13. Now we multiply our new numerators and denominators together. Then we get 13 over 1, which is the same as 13. Two different methods to solve the same problem. Now let's practice another example. We have 11 times 1 over 4. To multiply a whole number times a fraction, we first need to make the whole number a fraction. Change the whole number by into a fraction by putting it over 1. 11 over 1 times 1 over 4. 11 over 1 times 1 over 4 equals 11 over 4. We have to change our improper fraction to a mixed number. We know that 4 can go into 11 two times. With the remainder of 3 and the denominator stays 4. If we wanted to see the work, we could divide 11 by 4. We know that's 2, and we get 8. 11 minus 8 is 3. The remainder becomes our new numerator. The divisor is our denominator, which stayed the same, and our quotient is our whole number. So our answer would be 2 and 3 fourths.